So, I am incredibly stoked about this. Oh no, it's not going to change the lighting. That's bad. Um, I just installed Ubuntu on this here piece of hardware known as the, uh, the CR48. And it was actually incredibly easy compared to what I was expecting. Um, uh, this is the first step. I'm actually going... Wow, that's actually really fast. Holy crap. Um, dang, that's, that's impressive. Let's see how fast Firefox opens. Um, I'm actually going to be installing elementary OS on this, and that should make it even a little bit speedier. That, that's not too bad. Um, little, oh, sweet. Wi-Fi drivers all work. Uh, yeah, this is like literally the first time I've ever seen this, just like two seconds ago. Um, wow, so I can connect to the Wi-Fi. I'll be playing with it and probably do a review of some sort on it. Um, but ultimately my goal is to get elementary on this. And since that's just a modified version of Ubuntu, at least Jupiter, the first version of elementary is, um, it should not be too difficult. So, right now I'm actually going to be... I, I thought about just theming this Ubuntu install to look like elementary and calling it a day. But elementary actually removes a lot of the bloat, so that would speed it up. So what I'm going to be doing is flashing a new BIOS, which really makes me nervous. But um, hopefully everything, and we'll we'll see about that. So yeah, um, I'm just going to poke around here real quick. So there's the calculator. Here's my home folder. Here's the appearance settings. Um, let's do some alt tab, that works. Oh, there's no Windows key, so I can't do that. Um, wow, Compiz is there. Uh, so what is something that Compiz can do? I don't have a Windows key, so I can't do them right now. Um, or a, a super key, if you will. Uh, let's do... Send everything... No. Here, let's try this. Control all right. Ooh, yeah. So we have Compiz is fully working and is actually freaking snappy. Um, wow, that's Im that's impressive. Oh, let's see if we get wobbly windows. Whoops, what did I just do? Oh, I clicked a button down there. Um, oh man, look at that. That is running on the freaking CR48. Completely native. Um, Let's pull up the system monitor here and see what we got. Um, oh, it's blurry, you can't see it. Basically, it's showing two CPUs. Um, I didn't know if this was a dual core, I guess that makes sense. Um, it's using 182 megabytes of 2 gigs of RAM. Um, there's no swap partition by default, I might set that up. Uh, it is, there we go, Ubuntu release 10.10, Maverick, uh, kernel version 2.6.32.26, and then it has plus DRM 33.12, GNOME 2.32.0, um, showing up with the Intel Atom processor, oh it's an Atom, not ARM, that makes sense, so it's 1.66 gigahertz dual core processor, uh, disk space, there are two gigs of available disk space, that's just how I partitioned it. So, um, I have a little bit of room there, I can install stuff on thumb drives and whatnot too. Um, yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this. One thing I'm curious is if I can get multi-touch. Let's go to mouse, touchpad, sorry, now it has edge scrolling, so I'll try that over here. So this is just using the right side of this, like this. Oh, yeah. Um, so scrolling like that. Ooh, that works. Now I'm going to see if two finger scrolling works. Uh, I'm trying to do this. Oops clicked something. Doesn't look like two finger scrolling is working. 
but I might be able to figure that out. Edge scrolling works, which that's nice. Um, it shows, usually this will disable two finger scrolling when your computer doesn't support it, so I would think I can do two finger scrolling somehow. Um, I'm going to switch it back to edge scrolling, and I'm going to disable the mouse clicks because I like the actual clicking instead of the tapping. With this nice big trackpad, it's nice to be able to click down. Um, so yeah, um, I will be posting a little bit more with a, a little bit better quality uh, video. This is just posting with my phone, so cool. That is Ubuntu on the CR48.